leaves are starting to fall. I've had a few yards say they were like this. Some of them much worse. But they're starting to come down. Well, this is just some mowing with the walker bee, obviously. I haven't recorded anything mowing with this mower in quite a while, but I really haven't used it in a little while. I've been using, like I've mentioned in the last few videos, the Great Dane a lot. It's just, uh, you know, with the back issues I was having and uh, how I'd screwed myself up about a month or so ago, a month and a half ago, whatever it was now, um, I was just on the stander lot. But leading up to that, I was using this walker quite a bit. Um, I have put 124 hours on it this season, which uh, know, may seem like a lot to some, but it really isn't much to me at all. Um, but you guys do know I have all those other mowers, so um, you know it gets broken up between a lot of my mowers. But I really do love this mower, and I, I don't know, I'm still on the fence of whether I'm going to get rid of it or not. I, I need to know that whatever I buy can do what this mower can do. I have a lot of properties that grow massively and uh, in the spring and the fall and they stay wet a lot and I can take really thick, really wet five, six inch grass, mow it down to three inches, bump this deck up to three and a quarter, go over it and it's literally gone, disappears. I haven't found many mowers that can do that. Now I know a lot of mowers that can do that with dry grass, but not thick wet grass. And this mower can just do it. So um, yeah, many people have asked and I was gonna kind of hold off until GIE to show it and explain it, but I'll just give it to you straight the way it is right now. Um, the three mowers I'm looking at is the Wright X52, the Ferris Z2, not the Z3, and the Skag V-Ride 2. So those are the three mowers I'm looking at. Um, and it's pretty much, you know, there, there are some things I need to know what they can do. I'm not so concerned with price, but I really need to know that one of them can do what I just explained with that walker. So um, hopefully I will get the answer. Um, you guys may be wondering why I mowed with the Walker B and then with the Great Dane here with the Accelerator 6.2. Um, the Accelerator 6.2 does hold a lot, but it did leave a bunch of grass laying there and um, these leaves. doesn't look like much, but you know, there, there's more there than what the camera shows. And if I had just mowed it right off the bat, I would have dumped this Accelerator three, maybe four times. Um, with going over it once with the Walker B and then just jumping on this Great Dane with the accelerator, I was able to bag up everything in one shot. Um, and then I just dumped it one time at the very end. So it's it's a lot less volume when you mow something down with any mower and then go over it with the bagger, even if I did it with the same exact mower. But uh, I just, I normally would have just done it with the Great Dane and then thrown the accelerator on and gone over it again. But I, I just wanted to show you guys some mowing with the Walker B, something different, I guess. But uh, stay tuned. Coming up right after this mowing is the new plow, as many have requested to see it. All right, I just picked it up. You guys want to know, look how tall that thing is. It is massively tall. Has the new lights, insanely bright. It is a Western contractor grade pro series. Um, it has the Ultra Mount 2 system. Now I'm not really sure what that means. Um, I've looked it up and I, I've seen all the things they say about it, but you know, it's pretty much the standard is the Ultra Mount. You pull that out, drop this down you step on that foot peg and it's leveled right out um i can't believe how tall this thing is it's like got to be at least another foot taller than my boss plow was um there it is right there 
Western 76 Pro Plow Series 2. That's where I bought it, Haleen's Automotive. That's who put the leveling kit in this truck. And that's also where I bought the step bars and they installed them too. But this is it. That is the, uh, that's the new plow. So all you guys that wanted to know, that's it.